it is your contention that our position has been uh, in in putting the interests of the indian public uh, first i plead guilty to it yes i put the interests of the indian public first many a time when we le- uh, read about government of india stand or position or position paper it seems that the foreign policy has only been shaped by two th- after 2014 so this 2014 centric approach of foreign policy undermines the people and the processes which were involved since 1947 number one sir number two india had a very stated position honorable minister sir through you honorable chairman in a conflict between oppressor and the oppressed india never was neutral between a fight between an elephant and an ant if your neutrality helps the elephant i think there somehow recent uh, developments in gaza i think i i didn't hear anything from government of india and finally between ukraine and russia it was a very very delicate delicate chapter we have our versions different from you but whatever i think you could dis- create a space you did but it could have been better i would say yes 2014 was a watershed moment yes things have changed better after 2014 yes our foreign policy has become more dynamic more effective more prominent after 2014 professor jha suggested that he could do uh, my job better i mean that is certainly uh, his <laughs> his uh, you know he is free to hold that opinion we have one been clear <clears throat> publicly clear at the prime minister's level that this is not an era of war we have consistently urged dialogue and diplomacy when it comes to the impact of the war on indian people or in the rest of the world we have also done the right things about that we have taken measures to soften the impact whether it is of fuel or whether it is of uh, Uh, of uh, food inflation whether it is a fertilizer cost so if it is your contention that our position has been uh, in in putting the interests of the indian public uh, uh, first i plead guilty to it yes i put the interests of the indian public first